Hey guys, and welcome to the April 2021 unboxing of the Keto Crate. Stick around to the end of this video to see how you can win your very own crate, or if you don't wanna wait, you can go ahead and click the link in the description box below to get a discount on your very first Keto Crate. Let's jump right into it. Ah, oh, hello spring. Hello spring. Hello Keto Crate. How are you doing this season? I'm doing great. I am excited to see what's in this box. Lego. Oh, the first thing that caught my eye was this Think Jerky grass-fed beef stick. Okay, they're still gonna keep including them. They're gonna keep including these beef sticks no matter how hard I protest. Okay, so this Think Jerky original grass-fed beef stick, 80 calories, five grams of fat, one gram of carbs, and eight protein. Let's see, ingredients, 100% grass-fed beef, sea salt, lactic acid, spices, etc. I don't see any sugar, so that's awesome. So the one gram of carb must be from the spices and whatnot. I know this is just gonna taste like a beef stick. Oh, what are they thinking? Two beef sticks in a singular crate? Not okay. I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to the Keto Crate people. This is real, that must be the name of the company, uh, garlic and herb. At least it has a flavor, I guess, but still, garlic and herb, beef stick. Mm. The ingredients, kosher beef, water, seasonings containing salt, spices, let me see. I don't see any sugar either. Ooh, and I must be wrong because it says that there are 80 calories, one gram of carb. Okay, something's wrong because it says one gram of carb, but three grams of total sugars. So get y'all's packaging together real. Uh, and then seven grams of protein. Yeah, like I said, I don't see any sugar on the ingredient list. So that three grams of sugar is really confusing to me. Beef, water, seasoning, sea salt, spices, fennel, pepper, paprika, natural flavors citric acid, celery powder. Yeah, I don't see any sugar, but their label is soups confusing. Whoa, next we have Proudly Pure Parmesan Crisps bacon flavor. I've seen these before. I've seen the regular Parmesan Crisps in the Keto Crate before. We've never had a flavored Parmesan Crisp. Now the thing about these is they are the entire size of this box. Like these are huge crisps. They could be crackers really. The ingredients, Parmesan cheese, Garlic and onion, yeah, just cheese. Okay, so there are two servings per container and there are four crisps per serving. 110 calories, seven grams of fat, one total carb, and nine protein. Yeah, these are good. I remember last time, just the fact that the crisps are so large, like it's a lot of Parmesan, you know? But I'm looking forward to trying the bacon flavor. Oh, it's a new flavor! <laughs> the legendary toaster pastry. I thought it was just gonna be cinnamon sugar or strawberry because that's what I was used to and I absolutely love these, but they hit us with a blueberry. I don't even know how I'm gonna feel about this at all, but I am excited. Now, I don't know if something happened in transit because there is a hump in here and there should not be a hump in a toaster pastry, but regardless, legendary food, blueberry toaster pastry, there's only one in here uh, and it is 150 calories, seven grams of fat, 17 total carbs, four fiber. There is five grams of erythritol and four allulose, 15 grams of protein. Okay, how many net carbs is that? Four net carbs. So I am very excited about this. I'm not even gonna read the ingredients cause like they're not great, let's be honest, but still who doesn't want that toaster pastry feeling on the keto diet, comment down below. What was your favorite pre-keto toaster pastry flavor? I am a classic person myself, and I know this kind of contradicts everything about me, but my favorite flavor was just the regular strawberry. Like, I didn't even like the cinnamon sugar the best. Strawberry just with the fruit filling, even though I don't like fruit filling anywhere else. But boy, in these toaster pastries. Comment down below, what was your favorite? I never got into the weird ones like cookies and cream or birthday cake, like no, 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 keep it classic. Okay, next we have, oh, Scudda, Scooter. I still don't know how to say this. <laughs> Pumpkin seeds, we've received these before. They are really good, but these are chili maple, Django chili, ooh, I'm chili herbal, what? Somebody pronounce this, what is this? What do these words say right here, like, what? 
Either way, I am excited to try them because it has the word chili. It looks hot. Like, I'm going to enjoy these. But these are just dry roasted pumpkin seeds. I still don't know how to pronounce that flavor. Per one third cup, there are 250 calories, 18 grams of fat, 8 grams of carb, 5 fiber, 2 sugars, 14 grams of protein. Now, this is clearly like Canadian or French because everything is written in two languages. First ingredient, pumpkin seed. Second ingredient, maple sugar. Why? Like, I don't really know why this is in the keto crate. Like, it's definitely a if it fits your macro sort of thing, but I'm really focusing on not eating food with added sugar. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna try them though, but still, like, you definitely wanna watch out for these. There's sea salt, spice, natural maple flavor, onion powder. There's like three and a half servings in here. So that's like 12, 14 net carbs. That's a lot, be careful. But I'm excited to try this flavor at least. Ooh, next we have Fat Snacks mini cookies. Look at this. Fat Snacks is always doing the DAC thing with their packaging. Chocolate chip mini cookies. I think I'm gonna love these. Um, there are two servings per container, 170 calories, 16 grams of fat, 11 total carbs, four fiber, six sugar alcohol. So you're telling me there's one gram of net carb per serving, meaning two grams of net carbs per container? Oh, we eating this whole container. Uh, and then four grams of protein. Let's see, ingredients, almond flour, fat snacks, healthy fats blend. So that's butter, organic palm oil. Uh, and then almond butter, coconut oil. Okay, so like, you know, some, some oils in there. But overall, I'm excited to try these. I absolutely love the new packaging. Ooh, next we have a uh, Keto & Co. shortbread cookie mix. Ooh, this looks so good. I love shortbreads and I love Keto & Co. Baking mix is the best. Like for some reason, I just absolutely love the blend of whatever they got going on. Yeah, so it's coconut flour are the ingredients and then their Wondros uh, sugar replacer. So this is like their, their proprietary sweetener blend, erythritol, soluble corn fiber, inulin and monk fruit. Like whatever they do, the texture of these things is always amazing. Okay, you'll need Two sticks of butter, geez louise. Softened, uh, and then one large beaten egg and then parchment paper and a rolling pin. So you have to preheat the oven and then you mix everything together and then you, they want you to roll the dough out and then cut the cookies into circles. Okay, I'm not mad. So per baked portion, one cookie, and this should give you 16 cookies, 14 grams of fat, nine grams of carb, five fiber, two sugar alcohol, so that's two net carbs per cookie, and then three grams of protein. Okay, so there's some other stuff going on in here. 1.3 grams of net carbs per cookie. Okay, I ain't mad at you. I bet these are delicious. Ooh, next we have Genius Gourmet Keto Snack Chips. I've seen these on the interwebs before, so I'm excited about trying them. These are barbecue chips. They're barbecue flavor, but they're in triangles, I guess, which kind of gives me tortilla chip vibes, but like, that's okay. Serving size per container, one bag, 170 calories, 14 grams of fat. Woo, that's a lot. Five total carb, three fiber, so two net carb per bag, and then eight grams of protein. Wow, the number one ingredient is MCT. No wonder. <laughs> it's so fatty. Uh, and then there's a protein blend, tapioca starch, water, soy fiber. Okay, there's some things going on here. Potato starch and dehydrated potato. Mm, okay, I mean, you know, definitely still a if it fits your macro sort of situation, but I have seen these and I've never tried them before, so I am happy to receive them in the Keto Crate. Ooh, Keto Farms, ooh, cocoa dusted almonds. I absolutely love the guys over at Keto Farms, and I love how many different flavors they're coming out with. These are just cocoa dusted almonds. Serving size, one package. There are 140 calories, 12 grams of fat, 10 total carbs, three fiber, and five erythritol, meaning two grams of net carbs per serving. Now, granted, it's only this much in here. So, I mean, that's not bad, but you know, that's not a lot of nuts there. Uh, and then four grams of protein. I am totally here for this. Ingredients, almond, natural sweetener, erythritol, monk fruit, Molasses powder, okay, that's interesting. You know, th this Keto Crate is really willy-nilly with the sweeteners. Not sure how I feel about that, but like, 
once again, I am more of a if it fits your macro. So like ingredients are important, but as long as you're not consuming this stuff every day, like I guess I'm okay with it. But like, I don't know if I'm buying any of this because of the ingredients, but I'll try it though. And then we have, ooh, oh my gosh, Perfect Keto Keto Cookies. Now I'm so excited to receive these because Perfect Keto came out with keto cookies a long time ago. And I have never tried them. I love their keto bars, like their chocolate chip and their birthday cake and their, like just so many other flavors are my absolute favorite, but I never really tried their cookies before. So this is like a two pack of cookies and I'm excited to try this. These are snickerdoodle, okay. Three grams net carb per serving, which I'm assuming is one cookie. Oh, serving size, two cookies, okay? Color me surprised, so this whole package, 180 calories, 15 grams of fat, 18 grams total carb, four fiber, six sugar alcohol, five protein. I know there's gonna be some allulose in here. Yeah, so three net carbs total because of the five grams of allulose and then five grams of protein. Like, okay, I'm excited to try these. They don't seem particularly soft. They are larger than like the mini cookies that a lot of other companies have. So I will look forward to trying these. And then finally, we have Field Trip Crispy Cuts. Sweet Chipotle pork rinds. I absolutely love these. I've had them plenty of times before. I know I'm gonna like these. Serving size, uh, two per container, 80 calories per serving, six grams of fat, one total carb, so two carbs per container, uh, and then seven grams of protein. Yeah, I am definitely a fan of Field Trip uh, Crispy Cuts, even though the second ingredient is cane sugar, like what? But I look forward to trying these. I know I already like them. Okay, that is all for this month's Keto Crate. Like overall, even though there are some products in there that I'm excited about trying, this is a dirty crate. You know what I'm saying? Like just a lot of flat out sugar, you know? Don't get me wrong. We usually see like inulin and tons of erythritol, tons of allulose anyway, but like they're straight up sugar in a lot of these things, which once again, like that might not jive with your keto journey at all. I'm definitely gonna try everything, but still I'm just like, dad, we're like straight up putting sugar in there. You know, it's just like, what's worse, sugar or maltitol? I don't know, right? So clearly according to the keto crate, maltitol is, but still like, you know, I'm on this whole thing. What's better like sugar cause it's natural or maltitol because it's not natural and it does like spike your blood sugar a lot. Like, so it just depends on like where you are in your journey. But I, I am honestly surprised that a lot of these things have straight up sugar, brown sugar, molasses, things like that. Let me know in the comments down below, like what are your thoughts? Also by letting me know in the comments down below, you are gonna be entered for a chance to win this keto crate. Like, do you even want this keto crate? <laughs> Regardless, comment and let me know. Or if you found some things in here that you absolutely love, go ahead and just click the link in the description to get a discount on your very first keto crate. Okay, like smash the crate, then it'll be interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. But the one thing that I do like is there are a lot of things in here that I have seen around that I have been wanting to try but never have before. For instance, these cookies, I've been wanting to try them for a very long time. These chips, I've been wanting to try them for a very long time. And there's straight up new stuff in here like, this ingredients be darned, I don't care. I'm excited to try this, right? So catch us on Smash the Crate to see where we'll draw the winner of this keto crate and I'll catch you next month. Bye.